Hi guys, today we are going to discuss being a TV presenter. But before we start, remember to give this video a thumbs up if you found the content to be useful. And also remember to subscribe below to get notifications on more videos. Before you decide to become a TV presenter, keep the following things in mind. The working hours of a TV presenter. The hours vary depending on what you will be shooting during the day. But on average, the working hours will be from 8 in the morning to 7 in the evening. What happens behind the scenes? Firstly, a lot of preparation. TV presenters are given the script before each episode in advance so they can familiarize themselves with what's going on. Although the show might play weekly, they shoot in advance, so the pressure can build up quite a bit. Also, they have read-throughs and full rehearsals for each show in order to remember camera positions. Because the show is filmed using about 8 cameras and they are expected to know their cues for every shot, the rest is just staying on top of things mentally. It's hard work being a TV presenter. What people see on TV is what is left after 3 hours of standing and doing take after take that have been edited and chopped down to half an hour. It requires a great deal of patience and sometimes that can be frustrating. The competition is also very tough. There's a lot of talent in the country so they are literally competing with thousands of people who all want to do the same thing. This is why TV presenters have to be on top of their game. A typical day of a TV presenter is described as the following. Most TV presenters wake up at 6.30 in the morning and freshen up before going to the studio. When they get there, they go through a quick rundown of what's happening on the day, what will they wear, who will be their guests, themes and so on. After that, they go on to sit with the crew and other co-hosts and they do a short rehearsal before they begin. They start shooting at 9 in the morning and break for lunch at 2 in the afternoon. They continue shooting the last half of the show from 3 in the afternoon and probably finish around 8 or 9 in the evening. They receive a script for the next day and go over it when they get home. And the cycle pretty much continues like that. The benefits of this career is the following. Some TV presenters do not have to wear formal clothes to work. Also, the hours are quite flexible. Some days they'll have a lot to do and other days not so much. TV presenters get a lot of free stuff. Also, they get to work with and learn from the coolest people in the business, from directors to singers and dancers. The personal lives of TV presenters It's quite important to keep a personal life because with the hectic pace of this business, it's important to rest. The job requirements and skills required to cope with in this job. A TV presenter does not need formal training for this career. However, they can have a degree in literature. A TV presenter has to genuinely love their job. This is not one of those jobs you can just study for and do. People will be able to tell if you are faking it. Also, you have to be quick on your feet and have the ability to memorize things quickly and be a fast learner. There are different types of presenting work available in the market. Live presenting offers the audience a chance to interact with a TV presenter on a more direct level. And then there's radio and the many types of television presenting too. The skills you learn from this profession gives you the insight into many different aspects of production. So over time a TV presenter can pursue directing, 
producing or built on presenting through radio and other outlets. The best way to get started is to join an agency that deals with managing your talent. You can also get private formal training if you're serious about it. Be proactive and use every opportunity to refine your skills, like hosting school shows and things like that. What can one expect to earn in this career? The money depends on how hard you work. If you are really proactive and good at what you are doing, you can make over a weekend what most people make in a month. The more you're booked, the more money you make. So you have to be sharp. Thank you for watching this video. You can follow us on Instagram or Facebook to see what will be posted in the future.